Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Amanda, if you're new here. And on my channel, I share family, food, faith, fun, friends, all the things. I like to share my real life struggles and woes because honestly, I just feel like a faith-filled friend would share the truth. And the truth is I have been struggling for a super long time with the inability to focus, pay attention and follow through on tasks. I really struggle with starting a task and then starting like 17 other tasks and never following through on any of them. I put myself through nurse practitioner school with these struggles and with the help of the Lord, I was able to be successful. I now am a um, independent private practice owner, which I'm super excited about. But again, the inability to focus and follow through on tasks makes things just really challenging. So if you didn't watch my last video, I'll link it up here and down below where I shared with you just the kind of why and a little bit of the backstory. So I started to start I decided to start taking Stratera. I wanted to try a non-stimulant before even considering taking a stimulant medication. And so this is just a week one update for you. So week one on Stratera, I just wanna share my side effects, the symptoms, and do I feel like I notice anything at this point as far as it helping me with focusing the inattentive um, ADHD symptoms that I was experiencing a lot. Okay, so to be honest, day one and day two, absolutely no side effects whatsoever, which I was excited about that because I was really, really struggling with starting the medication because I was fearful of the side effects, which a lot of people may feel the same way. Comment below if you've kind of known that you needed to take something for whatever reason, but you were struggling because you were fearful of the side effects. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's where I was. And to be honest with you, day one and day two were wonderful. Day three, I lay down to go to sleep and I toss and turn a lot at night. So I cannot say that the broken sleep has anything to do with Stratera on any level. But what I will say is in my tossing and turning, as I always do all night long from the left to the right, from the left to the right, all night long. Um, when I would toss to the next side, I day three, I'm laying on, um, laying there on the bed sleeping and I was wide awake, like for real. I was so awake that it was scary. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have to work the next day. I have so many things happening. I can not be out of commission. What am I going to do? So the insomnia didn't last very long as far as being super, super aware when I did wake up. And I apologize for the real life um, ness of this video. I'm actually parked on the side of the road and here comes a couple of semis. So I'm just going to need you to bear with me. Um, I don't have time to edit out these crazy noises for you. Um, that is actually, and there's another one. How do you like that? Uh, that's one of the issues is YouTube is a huge passion of mine, but finding the time to fit it in um, when you want to be a slight perfectionist makes things very difficult, but I don't have time to be a perfectionist. So you get real Amanda. I hope you like her. Um, yeah, back to the previous discussion. So the insomnia, it, it continues, honestly. Um, however, just the amount of alertness in the middle of the night did kind of taper down a little bit, which was nice during that first week. And I would say that the other symptom that I experienced was a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of uh, nausea. Just on one day, I woke, actually it woke me up in the middle of the night. And just for reference, I'm taking my dose at bedtime. I, again, I'm a practitioner myself. I researched, I looked everywhere I could find. And it really didn't seem as though it made a difference on when I took the medication as far as the time of day. And I was hoping that if I took it at nighttime, if I did have any of those annoying GI side effects that they wouldn't wake me up. And here comes another beloved semi. There you go. Um, so anyway, um, it only woke me up the one night. I've never experienced any more nausea or GI symptoms um, with the Stratera after that, which was amazing because that was one of the side effects I was super, super worried about. Um, and then the only other side effect, and I honestly cannot 100% for a fact say that it was Stratera because I get headaches and migraines. Um, one to two, maybe a month. And one day during week one, I did have an excruciating migraine. I woke up with it. It got worse and worse as the day went by and it totally left me completely incapacitated and in the bed with ice packs on my forehead. So that was really week one. I would say it was a successful week. Do I notice it actually making a difference at all on any level during week one, as far as the 
inattentive or inability to focus, do I notice it making a difference for the positive effect that I'm seeking it for at this moment? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, I don't notice any benefit yet, but of course I understand um, the concept and it's going to take several weeks for me to really be able to notice a difference. I'm excited for what I believe that the Lord has placed in my life for the ability to kind of fix some of the uh, neurotransmitters in my brain and to help me to be able to focus. Um, you know, I do a lot of things um, and I really need to be able to focus on the things that I'm doing just like everybody else does. So this is a week one update on Stratera. I hope you find it helpful. I'm going to continue to track the side effects and I will let you know when I do actually start noticing it making a difference in my life. Um, I pray that the side effects that I've had thus far will be pretty much the only ones I experience and that they will also continue to taper down. Um, my psych NP did tell me that she feels like some of the tossing and turning all night long could actually be related to my ADHD. So comment below if you feel like you have insomnia or super frequent broken sleep during the night. I would be really curious to know, does anyone else struggle with that? Um, I even was taking a Benadryl at nighttime to see if it would help me. And I feel like it did help a couple of nights during week one, but it doesn't really feel like it's making that big of a difference at this point. So I think I'm going to stop taking the Benadryl at bedtime as well. Is there anything else that you guys do to help you with insomnia or sleep? I know, of course, there's other medications, but I'm not really interested in taking tons of medications at this point. I don't want to put a lot of things into my body. I want to let Stratera and Jesus do the things that Stratera and Jesus are going to do. And yeah, that sums up a week one update on Stratera. I, again, I hope you find it helpful. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in faith-related content. I mentioned in my last video, I have a family vlog coming out. I actually have two now that have been recorded, but again, finding time to edit all of those clips of videos and turn them into one video is really, really difficult when running a private practice and with doing all of the other things that I do. So yeah, I'm excited to be back on YouTube. I'm excited to track this journey. I'm just excited for Jesus and all the things that he's doing. And yeah, meantime, back at the ranch while you're waiting for me to post my week two update, go ahead and catch up on some of the old videos on my channel um, and see what other kinds of things that I've been getting into or have gotten into in the past. God bless, stay kingdom minded in everything you do. And this unedited end to my video is going to happen now. <laughs> I'll see you soon.